the same hall that has a surgical suite, and uh, he heard a baby crying, and it continued and continued, and it got to the point where he had to call 911. How you doing, buddy? 911, the dispatcher can hear it. He goes into the room with his gun drawn because, you know, who knows what's going on. No one was there. The moment he got in, it stopped. I knew I was going to play this role of this ghost hunter, and so I found these guys online, and we went to Linda Vista. We wanted to basically go Billy, come on. Real yeah, we're be investigation. So the first place that I thought of was the hospital. So we took uh, Lee and Angus. Come on, boy. Come here. We went up there at midnight, and we're in this abandoned There hospital. you go. I've never been there before. We walk in, and there's like four of these guys, and they've got the e-meters and all this equipment, ghost hunting equipment. This is a tri-field meter. It's tri-field because it measures three energy waves. You've got magnetic, electric, and radio. These things rarely pay off in like detecting ghosts, but they do a good job in detecting normal things that could cause um, electrical disturbances. Trigger object, just in case. Bring an object that might coax something to communicate with you. It could be a deck of cards, it could be a ball, a child's toy, but trigger object. You never know, it might work. Wrong, baby boy. Into come on, black, come on, boy, come on. Most people don't do that, but they were absolutely willing to do it. And, um, well, Lee tended to stick a little bit closer to us. I yeah. think he was like a little bit more the nervous one. Whereas Angus, you know, he was just off on his own. I found myself sitting in the morgue in the corner and I was like, what's what the worst thing is that could happen to me now? Like, you know, it's quite comfortable there sitting there in the pitch black. I went to turn on my infrared torch and it wouldn't go on. I was like, <laughs> sitting in the corner now, like. And then I, I was like, imagine if we went and turned go on, on to my left like side. Face this far. I was trying to scare the others. They were in the they were in the surgery room, the LA Paris. I'm using the phone to all that in my hand. Like, damn. So I went and sat down and I just was trying One day I get one of those cameras going on. <laughs> I'm just using like, my enjoy. Like enjoy. Like just kind of look so. I did that, but they couldn't actually so the thing I used. fire in the dark. I saw one of them finally walk down, and I kind of went. And, but they couldn't see that. Hey, man, you come, come up here? I noticed that he wandered off on his own and was gone for a long time. <laughs> um, so I just thought he was just like being exploratory. Come on, Bill, be scared. Come on, buddy, you're not scared. Angus? Get over here. Angus. Eventually, he like answered. He's like, "Yeah, we came." Oh. Billy. <laughs> Come here. The highlight of that was like we were in the hospital in the operating theater, and they're like, "You know, we came." All right, peace out, everybody. Scum, Take care. And we heard something, and you're like, "Really?" We had gone there with a group of about 15 people. It was my first time at the hospital. I started to hear a female voice like humming. All right, we're gonna watch this movie. And I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. And at the same time, I just said we're all gonna watch this movie. <laughs> Door, she went to open Bye -bye, the door. Bye-bye, everybody. Be and good. The door, like, kind of bounced back really quickly, and 